saw the Iowa team, I think that uh, we saw beat Purdue twice, beat Michigan State twice. Uh, they really had a good team. Jared Utah, who really had, was not shooting the ball in the basket at all for the last five games when they were uh, they were really struggling. I think it was like 21% from three. Uh, certainly found a way of getting healthy uh, against us or get, getting his game healthy against us. So uh, he was a big difference in that game. We couldn't stop him enough. And uh, then, of course, uh, I think we got some open looks. We didn't get enough, obviously. But we, we did have some open looks, and we just couldn't hit anything uh, from a couple of our guys today. So um, it's disappointing for all of us. Uh, go to the tournament now and just have to go in there and make a run in this tournament is, is, uh, is the answer to, uh, to continue a season with success. Um, yeah, any postseason that we can get, we're going we're gonna to embrace and uh, we'll play from there. So the, the best shot of postseason is right now in the tournament. Where I, I think it's still determined who we're going to play, but we'll be the eighth seed. Uh, ten, we're proud of ten wins. We're not at all proud of the three home losses we have here in, in the league. Um, that, hasn't, that, uh, that shouldn't happen, but it's happened. Caroline and Bridget have the mics. Chris, you want to start us off? Coach, you cut it to five. Did you feel like you maybe got a little too excited with some of those shots when you made that run? Yeah, we, we um, yeah, absolutely. Brendan? Yeah, we had to be able to, we had to be able to control that, um, and we did not. We took some bad shots. We, we, we just had a couple of times where we needed to have more poise in that run, and I get it. Everyone was all jacked up and ready to go, but that's not the way we need to respond. Poor. A game like this to come out and be 55 kind of blink again. Yeah. You know, what did you see early and, and kind I of saw Jerry do tough early. early. I mean, I, I, I mean, there are some things at his length and his size. I mean, he, he, he hit the sleeper three, and he hit another one, he had a pull up. I mean, and then they're just they, they're good at running it. You saw guys that were uh, came out. I think, uh, you know, they're playing for the league championship uh, down the stretch. And uh, it didn't work out. Now they're, they know they're in the NCAA tournament. They're just playing to win. And uh, he played really loose. Stay on that side of the front row. We had really, a couple of really good looks during that time, too. But uh, a couple of them didn't hit anything. <coughs> right uh, I just want to bring you back to the beginning of the night, senior night. And yeah. you can just talk about Karras and Spike for a few minutes and what the experience is like working with those two young gentlemen. Well, it, uh, it's been a great four years. I mean, because both of them are a little bit of, to say they're under the radar recruits, would be uh, it would, would be true. I mean, and both of them, we took, we just had a great feel that they could be really good players here, and uh, they certainly would. And I, it's it's disappointing that they weren't be able to have their senior year and, and have the, the the success they had in their first two years in their next two years. And so, because it really Spike played last year hurt, he did great, but uh, this year we thought he'd be healthy all year long. It didn't work out. True. Over here, what's the argument you would make right now that you guys deserve to be in the NCAA tournament? You know, you have to look at all. I think it's it's such a uh, uh, Drew. It has a lot to do with what the other teams are doing. You know, the teams that who are who is the competition? We have we we do have ten ten wins in a, in a very good league. We do have some some wins over a top twenty five team, and we've played a lot of top twenty five teams. Uh, so. Um, and I'm sure other people have similar similar arguments, but I don't know enough about the other teams. And I really, Drew, I really trust the people in that room. They're really talented at what they do. They don't get too many of these things wrong. So if, we're, if we get to be in, we're in. But whatever work we got to do, we're in. If we're not, you just got to say, hey, they spent they spent weeks of their own time getting this done. Right over here with Tony. John, after the Purdue game, you know, all of us, I guess, out here thought that you guys were in really good shape to, yep. to make the NCAA tournament. It's been a struggle. Then. How has this thing kind of slipped away a little bit over the I, I know the competition's yeah. good, but yeah. how, that's, that's how has this no, thing that's kind of exactly slipped away? It. That's exactly it. That, that the schedule changed. Remember when I told you we were not, we were, whatever we were at the midpoint, six and three, I said, this is a different, this is a difference to six, nine games coming up. I mean, we're clearly not better than Iowa. We're clearly, we showed we weren't better. Wisconsin on the road is a tough one. Ohio State, we won one time down there in nine years. And that's easy how it slips away. Those are, the, those are three losses during that time that, you know, we need to get one or two of those. So the other teams are better than us. They're playing better. They played better than us. 
whatever. You can look at look at a whole lot of factors, but we could get it done. And those big moments you talked about, you know, when you cut it to five. Yeah. Are those the types of moments where you, where you this team really missed Spike and Karras this season? Big big crunch time like that. I mean, we missed them. We we missed them in every moment. We missed them in the beginning of games, in the end of games, in the locker rooms, in practice. We missed a lot of it. But but. You know, we had to get over that, and we've all been over that. We've been just trying to, to really be true to these young men and, and do whatever we can with, for them. And so, but, uh, yeah, there were some, uh, some plays we'd like to have back, and, and they were really good at that. But they were really good at making plays when, you, when, you know, things broke down, and uh, that's, what, that's been an issue for us. But the, the shot clock has affected us, I, I will admit. The third, that extra five seconds of running one more action has affected us. And uh, we're going to have to do a really good job of getting better there. Back over to Brennan. It's probably touches a little bit on uh, some of the big moments and some of the shots. Yeah. But, but all night for 34 attempted threes, was it settling? Was the guys just trying to do too much ball and things like that? Well, for such a big number in this game. You yeah, think? you know, I think I think of a couple of our guys did get some good looks. And then, of course, there's probably five or six of them, three or four of them at the end that we shot. But, um, the, we could not, uh, the, the hedge was really bothered us, the hard hedge was really bothered us. And we could not get into the lane to really to score. I, I thought um, we had trouble seeing the big man on the roll. We just had trouble seeing him. We, it was Zach saw him better than the other guys did. So we couldn't, we didn't get those looks that we've been getting that have better balance to our game. And that's the shot clock, as I said, is winding down and somebody's cranking one maybe early. I thought Muhammad had really good looks, and he shot it well all week in practice, but he couldn't get one today. Duncan, Duncan didn't, he still does not get many good looks. He does not. He's really deep, and he has to get it. And uh, But they gave Zach, I, I, I pleased that Derek got out of the little funk. He was shooting like 19% the last five games, and that was good. He would get out of that funk. We'll stay on but 34 side. threes was not the formula today. Stay in the back. Nick. Joe, you uh, coach a lot of different tournament teams in different scenarios. You know, uh, they've got them with no doubt or swept yeah. on a Sunday yeah. or conference tournaments. All that set. I mean, does this feel like a, term, a team that's earned a bid to you right now? I think I, I, we'd have to play really well in this tournament right now. I don't think there's any question about that. We've got to play well in this tournament. I mean, you can see there's spots. like The, the, the teams that are like no-brainers, right? Uh, the, the, the Maryland teams, the Wisconsin teams, this team. Purdue, I mean, we're, we haven't beaten Purdue and beaten Maryland, but even at Maryland, I mean, it's anybody's game. Wisconsin, it's right there for us with five or six minutes a game. We're in that mix, but I think it depends on who else is in that mix, you know, um, to see where we are. Because I don't really know. I'm not studying what those all other so-called bubble teams are doing. And certainly, if we play those bubble teams, we, they're not like playing Iowa. They're not like playing Maryland. We could possibly beat them, but I'll let them decide it. But in terms of just finishing the season, you know. I mean, well, isn't that, you know, anytime, Nick, I'm the wrong person to ask. Anytime we lose a game, you know, I, I'm, uh, I'm not real high on my team, on, my, on myself as a coach. It's not like a time, hey, here we go, now we got it fixed. No, it's not, it's not me. So I think we gotta, we got to make some repairs and we got to play better and prove to people that we're good enough to play in the NCAA tournament. We've got time for a few more. Simon? Compared to maybe teams you've had in the past, it seems like you kind of fight your way back and they kind of pull away. Does it feel like this team's missing that extra gear? And is that something, I guess, how do you fix that in a week going into the tournament? Uh, it, it, it's hard, but, I mean, if, if, we, if we come out here today and we make maybe, uh, let's say we got to a, out of those 34 threes, let's say we get 10 of them, and let's say we get about five. The fast break layups today, we missed, we didn't, we didn't, we just sometimes go in there and throw up a, a bad shot in a, on a layup situation. I mean, just get in there and just throw things up and people are avoiding the foul. There's some plays there that they could have swung this game. And so um, we, don't, we don't have other answers right now. We just got to be more efficient when we do have the opportunities. And we've done that sometimes. But this, that team is really good, and we weren't good enough to do that against them. Have you had a team that's making those, I guess, kind of inexperienced mistakes this late in a season before? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, I, this, this, that team was doing the, the same things we were doing when they were all sophomores and juniors. Iowa was the exact same stuff when they were freshmen and sophomores, and that's the winningest team they've had. And during their freshman and sophomore years, they weren't doing that. They were doing the same thing. So, yeah, we have experience. Yeah, but we don't have that type of experience. Experience comes when you have big junior and senior classes. 
That's experience. The two does not mean big in junior senior classes. We're going to close with Mark and then Tony. When you put so much on this game and you talk about it for a whole week and yeah. you talk about the scenarios yeah. and everyone knows, what do you go in and say afterwards? I mean, what's the message to them, you know, when it's so deflating? Well, I, I told them now we'll get back to work and we have another opportunity. Good as we have another opportunity in the tournament. We'll be playing really good teams there and we have another opportunity. And if we don't do it, we don't do it. But it's just, we just have to just address it. I'm not going to like hide it from it and say, hey, maybe we, we know we got to, I, I've always felt we had to get more work done during this time and, and let the, that way, the, 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 any questions about us will be answered. Now, who knows what's going to happen from here. We did get 10 wins. I think you do research how many times you get 10 wins in this league. But let's, uh, let's see what we do in, in, in Indy and see what the committee thinks. We'll close with Tony. Uh, on the same lines, uh, you obviously addressed the team after the game. Um, looking at them, you know, listening to them, I heard some of them maybe talk, maybe talk after the game. What, what do you sense from the vibe and the, the outlook for this team? I mean, Derek, yeah. Derek and Duncan put a good spit and say, you know, they're keeping positive attitude. Yeah. These are young kids. What did you sense from it, Well, this is not a life and death situation. This is something that you're talking to the, about, Tony, and you're saying, you know what? This is part of the process. We're going to really be good. Whether it's this year, or next year, or the year after, this is part of the process of getting better, and and these are humbling experiences at the end of the year, and and teams that they go through this are going to be better the following year, and they're going to be better when they're seniors because they understand the give and take and what it takes. So you got to look at a holistic point of view here and see what you can do, and just say, okay, we gave it everything we have, and it wasn't enough tonight, and it, if it's not enough to get us in the NCAA tournament, it's not enough. We, we've, we've survived that before here at Michigan, and we'll survive it again. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you.